Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel where we dive into the exciting world of finance. Today we have an incredibly important topic to discuss, one that lies at the heart of every businessman, right? Successful companies, growth, sustainability. What is it? It is all about capital budgeting, right? So get ready to embark on this captivating journey into the capital budgeting visions. You know, you will be very much confident if you attend this video. So listen carefully the class of this capital budgeting, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell also to stay tuned for future videos where I'm going to solve the problems too, right? Where you will be very much confident and you will continue to explore what are the further topics in the world of finance. So let's dive into this. So what is it? It is all about capital budgeting. So let's learn what do you mean by capital budgeting, okay? So what is it? It is a process of making long-term investment decisions. It means in every company, the company has to allocate its funds. Raised capital is to be invested in the acquisition of assets, right? So fixed assets are to be bought by the company. So whatever the amount of capital is collected, that is to be utilized properly in selecting the capital budgeting decisions, right? So that's why potential long-term investments are expected to generate cash flows over the several years. So in the capital budgeting, Andre in one Andre, idu yella long-term investment maado do decisions na to adu capital collect agiro do na to kondo asset acquisition marko beko assets na purchase maar bekala. So yawa asset ali yesto amount na allocate maari no purchase maar beko a asset to namge munde baru anta vashe kalli return korta hokta de. So yesto amount na adrali allocate maar beko anu anta to nella na wo e vando capital budgeting additionally kalita hokti be. So capital expenditure is an investment of funds that is expected to produce benefits over a period of time. So in the days to come, it is going to generate the income for the company, right? So that's why it is very crucial decision that the company will have to make. So literally, no one but the capital rationing and no one the concept. Capital rationing is the financial situation in which a firm has only fixed amount to allocate among the competing capital expenditures, right? So, iru anta hana na yauri iti asset alli allocate maadbe kala ekandre fixed amount irutte. Ishte ishtu dudu. Ishte ishtu dudu na yaudrali yauri iti sadbal ke maadi dre na hu sariya agiration maadbe kagate allocate maadbe kagate. Maadi dre company successful agate nu anta decision na takolbe kagate. Adike capital rationing is also a very important concept in the capital budgeting. Okay. So, yaki why the capital budgeting decisions are very important or significant, right? What is the significance of this part? That is, here the company takes a long term period, you know. The assets, once the amount is allocated to acquire the asset, that asset is utilized for a long term period, right? So, fixed asset na, iba to the one day naale maari de enta alla, adu company na le irutte, company ya sadhvala ke ga girutte, company ya production activity ga girutte, matte hathar life kuda dodd ga girutte, long term life ga girutte, right? So, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, ee riti, adhra li investment maari rathar the life, asset in the life, chasthi rathar, haga ghi du bhaala important. Today, whether the company, if the company purchases the asset, it has to keep it for the longer period. It has to make the use of that asset for a longer period. That's why. So long-term investment bagge illi vichara maadve kagate. Next one is irreversible. It means why the capital budgeting is very important or acquisition of asset is very important is it is irreversible. It cannot be taken back, right? Today we have bought and tomorrow we are going to sell. No, this is not the case. It is irreversible. That's why while making such a decision, be cautious, very carefully, you will have to do the decision, right? So complex decision. Third point is the decision, whatever you take, the company takes while acquiring the asset is not that easy. It is a complex decision. That's why it is very important. Analysis are to be made. Then finally, the company will make a decision whether to buy that asset or not, okay? Next is substantial expenditure, that is huge capital investment is to be invested over there. It's not of a small amount to acquire an asset, 
requires huge amount of investment. That is why very carefully the company has to analyze and then it has to take a decision about uh, investment. Okay, so all these points are going to contribute for the significance of capital budgeting decisions. Okay, now let's move on to the very important concept. Those are called as techniques of capital budgeting. So techniques of capital budgeting are mainly categorized into two parts. One, you know, this is non-discounting or it is also called as traditional techniques, okay? And the other one is discounting or time-adjusted techniques, okay? Non-discounting means the uh, there are again two methods, two techniques under the non-discounting or a traditional techniques. That is payback period. One is calculation of payback period. The other one is called as accounting rate of return. So here, a rupee is not discounted. Okay, that is why we call it as non-discounting. Rupee is considered as rupee itself. That is not discounted, you know. One rupee is equivalent to one rupee only. Whatever the number of years pass out, so we take into account the rupee as a, a value as equal only, right? So, illi time value of money tagit kolodilla, non-discounting ali, discounting factor na tagit kolodilla, okay? Time value of money is not taken into consideration or it is ignored. In Under this one, two methods, two techniques we learn. One is payback period, the other one is called as accounting rate of return. So, short formally, idiken anta heltivri, payback period, PBP anta heltivri. So, short cutterly is uh, accounting rate of return average rate of return no anta heltare this is also called as average rate of return and shortcut of the short form of this is arr calculation of nimke problem barate 10 marks ke problem barate that is calculate payback period arr npv pi and irr as well as discounted payback period can also be asked to calculate okay so these are the different techniques of capital budgeting decision so using these techniques, the company takes the decision, right? So these are these two are called as traditional, right? So now the time adjusted, that is here, they take into consideration the time value of money. So this is discounting also. Here, rupee is going to be discounted with the discounting factor, okay? Or the inflation rate is taken into consideration, okay? So what are these techniques under the discounting or time adjusted technique is? First technique, what we can say it as net present value, okay? So in shortcut, we call it as NPV. Abbreviation of this is NPV, net present value. The second one is profitability index, PI index, what you can say, PI, okay? So profitability index. The third one is internal rate of return, it is IRR, okay? And the last one is discounted payback period, you know? The first one payback period is there now. So the same is discounted. If it is discounted, it falls under the discounting technique. That is why discounting payback period is written under the discounting technique. Okay. So here we learn four in the discounting technique and two methods in the non-discounting techniques. And this is what, you know, I have cut short this video and uh, directly I have approached the technique of capital budgeting where in the further videos you are going to learn how to calculate all these. Okay, it's very interesting and uh, what do you know, I will make it very simple so that you can understand it properly and uh, uh, you, can, you will be in a position to make the decisions also using these all techniques. Okay, so in my further video, Still wait my further video till that period. You will have to wait. I'll make another video on each and every technique. Okay. So thank you very much for watching this and stay tuned till my next video. Thank you.